Hey guys, welcome back to Inner Stars video. In today's video, I'm playing the Bulwark Battle Cruiser Mark III, which unsurprisingly is a battle cruiser. Now, this was come out in a recent update in December, where they added in and they reformed a bunch of the Star Wars tech tree, and the Bulwark class of ships was one of the new ships they added. Now, the Bulwark is a rebel ship within the Confederacy tech tree, and it makes sense because it goes down the Bulwark line, the one, two, and three, the grind for it is horrible, like ungodly horrible. This is painful to grind in. It's very unmaneuverable, as you can see here, point one. Yes, it has armor, but that doesn't really matter. Its damage ain't great. And when you go onto the Rebel one, is it worth it? Right now, not really. There's a reason you don't see these things in game that often. And simply being is, they're, they're terrible. They're not they're not really good. They have such poor maneuverability. Like this, okay. The, the I think the just the justification for giving them so much, well, I say so little maneuverability is the fact that their armor. They have armor. See here, they have a little point seventy five and point sixty five, and that's cool and all. They also have shield tolerance, which again is pretty cool. The downside is, of course, that its maneuverability lets it down so much. Now, the Bulwark, in a one-on-one -on -one brawl with an enemy ship, it will almost certainly kill the enemy ship, but it will be so crippled by the end of it, because they did improve its damage in the uh, balance patch shortly after the update, but it's still not great. Um, one thing is, because it's a rebel ship, it does get access to rebel fighters, and it keeps a lot of its uh, CIS, like super turbo lasers and whatnot, which is pretty cool. And it has CIS flak, which is probably one of my favorite flak uh, PD in the game, simply because they are very good at defeating fighters, and they just sound cool, honestly, if I'm being real with you. Um, so the combination of... All of these, like, okay, it looks like it has a lot of guns. Like, you see here, like, 16 heavy turbo lasers. The only downside is they're all, they're halved. It's like the Providence Invisible Hand. They have a lot of them, but they are halved down crossway like this. I often find the Bulwark is good as being, like, carrier support in a support fleet or on carrier maps because it can't really die to a carrier because it have uh, its shield tolerance and its armor, so it's very hard to kill if, if you're trying to kill it as a carrier. And its point defense and its fighter wings allows it to defend itself pretty well and a fleet of other carriers pretty well. And the upside being, it is a battlecruiser, so it has battlecruiser guns, meaning it can fend off from brawlers, so if a brawler does decide to charge, you can defend the carriers. Now, pretty much how this goes is, it has some frontal weapons here, and side weapons, side weapons. Um, the side weapons do more damage in the front, of course, but the downside of that is is the maneuverability is so bad. It's just so bad. I, I, I can understand why they've made the maneuverability how it is, but I honestly think to make this thing actually usable, you need to buff the maneuverability, because that is just horrible horrible maneuverability there are things in this game which have similar health maybe not similar damage but they have a lot more maneuverability than 0 0.05 but anyway enough rambling let's get into it as you can see this is me turning by the way the supreme turning circle look at it go wow wow the turning circle on this thing is so awful and he's gone. You can see here, let me just show you the uh, um, heavy turbo lasers. The problem is, these turbo lasers, I think it's only like, yeah, like 41, 36 kilometers. I think the mediums are 36 kilometers, and the heavies are the 41 kilometers, which ain't great, because it means you have to be in pretty much range of every brawler there is, apart from maybe the Reapers. But you're so slow. If someone gets behind you, good God. <laughs> this is the only laser you have to defend yourself from the rear. Good luck turning like this to try and get bar get the maneuverability because you're just not. Uh oh, Yuki alert. 
Yukikaze. They do have a burst fire. Keep that in mind. Oh, the magistrate is in trouble. I don't think I'll be in there. We get there in time to help him. Sadly, dodging how this is going. Yeah, he's gone. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Now let's take advantage of the bulwarks point defense systems. I can't really hit this Yuki, as you can see I have no missiles, and I cannot sacrifice any of my fighter wing to go after him, because I obviously need to defend it from what's around this corner. Blue Noah, Komodo, Cradle, Cradle's not much of an issue. Blue Noah is an issue though. Uh, most of your fire wing is made up of interceptors, so uh, the chances of you doing actual damage to anyone is very slim. So good luck with that. Let's just see. Oh. Komodo's going for me. Oh god. Come on, shields. The positive of having tolerant shields is you can take the beating. Um, yeah, we managed to survive that. Awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much this on a carrier map. I'm going to go and charge now so I can move to a brawler map to show you the true power of the Bulwark Mark Three. Yay! The best ship in the Star Wars tree. It's my favorite. As you know, the video was the... It's either this one or the Praetor, like I said. And um, the reason why I chose them both is because they're both just as tanky as each other. Oh. Hey there, sir. You seem to have stumbled into the wrong neighborhood. Are you going to die before I manage to fire off my... Nope, there we go. He he definitely went into the wrong neighborhood there. <laughs> it's so unmaneuverable. Oh my god. It's so slow too. It's like a tortoise. I know it has like heavy armor plating, but dear god. Move faster. Okay. We are going to try and grind on this cradle. And hopefully not die by the time it happens. But as you can see here, the supreme bulwark damage. Now the heavy turbo lasers are cool and all, but they have a long ass reload, so um, like they do a lot of damage. It's just, yep, here we go. Slowly getting grinded on. Come on, fire already. I don't think we defeated that Komodo in time. No, we didn't. That's the Bulwark. Yay, it's so fun. Trust me on that one. And that was the Bulwark. There's not much to it. It's a carrier support, fleet support. As you can see, it can kind of brawl, if you, but not really. It's not great. And the grind for it, it's, it's, I think it's something like 9 million XP or something. To get that with the uh, Confederate Bulwark Mark II is pretty much the most painful grind in Star Wars you're gonna get. It's probably more painful than a carrier grind, which is tell is is saying something. It's saying something godly. Oh my god, does the CI does this thing suck? I hated it. I when I was grinding the Mark II, I was thinking, ah, uh, maybe there's a chance the Mark III will be incredibly a much bigger improvement because sometimes when you play a tier 4 it's like ah this is terrible and then you get the tier 5 and you're like oh my god this is the best ship ever this is so worth it the bulwark on the other hand you do not have this feeling it's like uh you basically get it and you go i just wasted hours upon hours of my own time grinding for a ship which i'm never going to play again because it's just so bad there's a reason the top score when I last looked for this was like 2.4 million x, uh, 2.4 million in the Stardust record sheet, and it's simply because this thing's terrible. No one really plays it. 
In fact, I've since it's come out, I think I've only seen like two people play it. It's that bad, and I don't see many people grinding for it. It's because people tell others that it's not great, and I'm telling you it's not great. They need to change something in this to actually make it somewhat decent, because making it that unmaneuverable, that slow for damage, which, eh, it's, it's all right, but it could be better. It's not great. And sure, it has a respawn timer of 50 seconds, but for me, that's not going to justify everything that they've done to it. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, comment down below what you want to see next. Remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.